Member for Curtin. Clients who contact me seeking assistance with the NDIS planning and review process are among the most vulnerable people in our community, and for many, lack of support has a significant impact on their health and well-being. My office is currently trying to help Aaron and Michelle Callaghan, a married couple who live independently in public housing in my community. Both live with intellectual disability and associated chronic medical conditions. In the four years since Michelle's mother died, Aaron and Michelle's support needs have increased and without advocacy, their plans have been reduced. Three months after an urgent review request, their plans have not been reviewed. Because of their disabilities, they're not able to cope independently. And in these three months, their living standards have declined significantly, despite using two support coordinators and lodging several requests for escalation. The system is clearly failing these people. My office sent multiple unanswered emails before obtaining a plan rollover via the minister's office, but they still haven't had an urgent plan review. The NDIA has now closed the case, but the matter is clearly not resolved. Apart from closing requests that remain essential, we're also hearing of long wait times, automated responses and inadequate information, issues that speak to a lack of capacity and humanity. As the changes from the NDIS review are implemented, I'd like to see a commitment from the Minister that planning and plan review services will still be available to participants in line with the NDIS Participant Service Guarantee. Member for